environmentalists have advanced that this loophole in the law is being exploited by commercial interests. Beginning in 2019, on a phased basis, certain single-use plastic products were banned in Jamaica. These are plastic bags below 24 by 24 inches, expanded polystyrene foam containers for the serving of food and plastic straws. But checks conducted by the Gleaner have shown that the banned products are still being sold and used locally. And it gets worse. The government's plastic hotline is out of service. Watch and listen. But incoming calls to that number have been restricted. ID 16. We're sorry, but incoming calls to that number have been restricted. ID 16. The National Environment and Planning Agency, NEPA, wasn't immediately able to say why the line was out of service. But Cabinet Minister Matthew Samuda said the hotline was never intended to exist in perpetuity. In Kingston, our investigative team was able to purchase single-use plastic bags that appeared to be a tad bigger than the sizes that have been banned. Environmentalists have advanced that this loophole in the law is being exploited by commercial interests. Over in Portland, our investigative team visited markets, restaurants, supermarkets and corner shops. Single-use plastic bags of polystyrene foam and drinking straws were being used and sold in many locations across the parish. In Jamaica, of the 800,000 tons of residential waste generated annually, 15% is estimated to be plastics. Between June 2019 and February 2020, 42 businesses and individuals have been prosecuted for breaches of the ban. 27 have been convicted and fined, while 10 matters are currently before the courts for a decision. There have been changes, but there still appears to be holes in the government's plastic ban. Tyrone Reed for The Gleaner Online.